Apparently. It's back to the B, back to the B. Mike, Mike to the C, but Mike to the C. Guess what day it is today, Jack? It's the second half of the... Danes to the low, to the weekly. Ha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi guys, down the yard. Me and Connor are in the tent. So as I mentioned yesterday, the this side's fine, over in the right place. This side, we're about eight inches too far that way. So we're gonna take all the ratchets off the bottom, go to that end, tug with our, all of our might, ratchet, keep going all the way and see if we can get, even if we get a couple of inches of pass, we just need to get the end loop over so we can ratchet the end down and that will pull itself taut. At least that's, uh, that's the theory we're working to. We also need to put some lube on these ratchets because they are all stiff as hell. Oh, we're a bit mucky. I feel like everything's against me today. I'm in the, I'm in the trenches. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't, it doesn't really do it justice here, but I'm a good, I'm a good three meters under the ground here. I'm just trying to expose, oh, bloody hell. I'm just trying to expose the end of these pipes, you see. One of them's sewer and one of them's um, surface water, storm, as Andy likes to call it. So we've got a tee off of that. We've got a drop chamber going in here. So we just dug it all out, but it's poopy down here, guys. Uh, look at that, they're all sooted up and everything, look. Uh, that's wet, there's the two pipes we're going into, over here. But we are a good three meters below ground. I was just saying to Andy, actually, are you thinking of all them poor buggers back in World War II and that, and World War I? This is what they were in, weren't they? Day and night. I'm only in here for about an hour and I'm, I'm not liking it. But day and night they were in them trenches, you see? Poor old boys, weren't they? Proper men they were, proper men. Nothing like the old youths of today. You know what I mean? Proper men they were. I'm not going to turn this into a rant or a waffle. Just explaining to you the current job in hand. So we can't do anything till the manhole chambers turn up that we've ordered, which should be this morning. So uh, I want to get this done before the sides start caving in because the water is it's pissing down here. And the water, we're, we're starting to get a bit of landsliding going on here. So I'm going to get out of here now. I've got to climb this ladder, look. I'll climb this ladder and get out of here. Andy's up there, look. And yeah, Andy, he's up there, look. See look how deep we are, look, look. He's up there and I'm down here. Anyway, we're gonna come out now. Andy's 10 foot tall. I'm gonna come out, I'll, I'll grab a cup of tea. All right, guys. I'm suited, mate, look. So me and Connor have been working in the dry mostly and uh, so a relic from World War II's just turned up. Huh? God. He's been in the trenches. I'll just, I'll just let them know about the uh, them poor buggers and how they're proper real men, you know? Yeah. Not like the youths of today. Yeah, that's why we're in the trenches, mate. Yeah. As for me and Connor's little activity, we have, here you go, here's a little, uh, uh, done it, have you? little mad scientist way of doing it. We've got some ratchets on the eyelets, cranked them, shimmied, cranked them, shimmied, cranked them, shimmied, and we are almost there. I must say, Jack, uh, from half an hour ago, it looks a lot neater. Oh yeah, we're getting there, mate. Because it's straighter. We're getting there. We've got, we're, we're near. We can get it That's over now. Over just. now look. Yeah, yeah. We can all the way over, and then we've got to get this. We've got the little ratchets down there. Get them on. Hop that it out. Still goes over. Yep, just. You're doing well, Connor, mate. Yeah. We're getting there. Jack we done it. We got it over. We got the got the lip over. Managed to get the cord into each ratchet, pulled it down, and that's pulling the tent forward. Just got to put those sides on, pull it down so that the centre mark gets back onto centre. Do that end. Jobs are good. In. Time to go and have a celebratory coffee. So, guys, now the tent is done, other than end panels, we're going to do them today. Uh, and also, we knocked rebar in for each of these legs, meet along rebar, left an inch show, and we're gonna get some nuts, put them on the top, weld them. Uh, until we can get the welder down here, until we've got the power on, we are, these are gonna move, but we're gonna use these concrete sleepers, three down each edge, roped across, also on the sheet. Uh, Andy is just doing some of his uh, wonderful expert lorry knots. For all you old school truckers out there who roped up your gear still do don't use ratchet straps it's beyond me but uh chunky and andy love a good truckman's knot 
what they're called, lashing down knots. An inconsiderate helicopter. I don't see it. Yes, so uh, Cub Scout, uh, some sort of some sort of loop there. You then pull it tight with this one, tie it off. Beyond me, Chunky does it with his eyes shut. That's one thing I'd like to do is learn how to do knots. It's one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't got a clue. No, so there we go. We're getting that out, getting the block out of the way so we can put this end up. And then we're going to back the grabbing. We have no ladders. We have one, it's in the trench, not long enough. Uh, we have no forklift. So we're going to back the grabbing here. We're back here. We're going to stand on the back of the Yeah, is it full of mud? No, it's full of stone. Oh, no. I've got a 20 mile stone. I'm going to muffle eyes. I'm going to muffle eyes, Sam. Um, and then we're going to cable tie, cable tie, cable tie, the end up. Broke it as well, and then we're going to assess it. These bars go through the bottom. Yeah, these bars might go through the bottom of the end and then bolt down, but we don't know. We've never done it before. So I'm going to finish ordering some cable ties, and I'll go and get them. Roger. So guys, just went and bought some lovely. 450 mil by 10 mil cable ties and I come back and the, it's already up pretty much got the grab in here got the sheet up center line lined up obviously tie it back down we have a nice pedestrian door here it turns out in this bit of uh, in this uh, sheet so we're a nice little uh, rear rear exit to uh, this side of the yard lovely stuff and this is also perfect lorry parking we can get the grab in here and the flatbed and have room to spare I think they'll even go side by side. I really do. So I, I had to, I just brought up Sam a battery over for the radio and I hadn't seen the extent of the excavations uh, and needless to say, uh, it's quite deep. I mean, Sam's six foot and there's a good six foot above him. Well, it's the full height of that ladder. Right, we're going to get this one in now, get it installed, run it in there, then we're going to get the next one, the small spread the back of these, tail off that way. Lovely, mate. See, that's basically you'll be proud. Haha, <laughs> that is a, that's all. Oh, <laughs> what is it? It's deep, man. But it's uh, very reassuring because look at how much clay, it's literally just dug, dug in clay. Sorry. Clay and chalk, this land is not going anywhere in a hurry. Oh, I better move out of the way. Yeah, there's a digger coming out of the way here. Oh, I'll move. I'm getting hooked up here. Oh, that's it, getting muddy. I ain't wearing willies. Right, back to the tent. See you then.
Right, so end number two. Get it up. Connor's laid it out the wrong way round. That's fine. Cable ties on the ready. I think this is the nicer edge as well. The clips are all still. Yeah, the clips aren't broken. It's cleaner. Well, I'm glad we got it this way around. Nice. Let's get it up there now. So we're still in here. Well, I haven't come out all day. Look at this, look, look. Properly carked right up there. Ah! Carked up where I'm in here. I'm in the hole. I haven't been out, I haven't been out of it all day. Anyway, look what we've done, look. We've got this so far. We've got a drop chamber going on here. So it comes along and drops straight down into the chamber, 600 mil. We've got 600 mil wires going straight up. And then we've got nice little tubes in there. And there. Drop chamber there. And then there's another pipe behind that. We're gonna tee off, go towards the wash bay. Round the back, straight in here, connecting up to the mains. We've got a lovely fall on this. Here we have nice fall going on. So yeah, we're getting there. It's it's we, we, it's dry now, so we can get on a bit. So uh, we're just waiting for those clowns up there to cut something. Then I can get it in. Have a nice shave tonight, all guys. So trim trim up for you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Yes, we are. Hi guys, we are going to test that if I throw a bucket of water down here, it gets to where Sam is. Watch this space. I, uh, I beat it here, it seems. Here it come, boy. So that's the end panels on guys. That is that end and this end on. The door is now up, but actually the door, because it's canopy door, it sits slightly lower than the bar. And, uh, wait a minute, I've got to move over here. Woohoo. And obviously the lorry is taller. So I'm gonna have to stand in the lorry while we go out. And it might be that we have to tie it up permanently or cut it off, but I'd rather tie it up permanently. Well, I've got to get this out of here. I'll be glad when that drainage is done. Look, our lovely tarmac plate is hooked up. Look, hooked up. Yeah, you see, it doesn't look very smart currently with uh, the ropes through it. I mean, it might not be how you're supposed to do the door, but that's what we think you do. So yeah, we'll roll it up tight, tie it off. Then the lorry's getting in and out lovely. We don't want to ever have it shut really, because if we're shutting it, people will just cut the side to get in. And that's what they're going to be timber and bricks. So, yes. Sam is hooked up for the max. He's been in that trench all day today. And he is like a mud man. He's the mud man. How you doing on? How you doing on? How you doing on? The creature from the swamp. Oh, so I've got a mate. I haven't been this puppy since my young teens, Jack, when I was a proper ground worker, mate. Look at the state, me, look. Okay, that's good to have wellies on, mate. My old Martin 90s, mate, they'd be in for a shock, wouldn't they? He was reliving his youth. Right, we're gonna get loaded up. I'm gonna go straight home. Sam's gonna head back to the yard. Grab in tomorrow for inspection, so we'll get that clean in the morning.
Bosch. Yeah, yeah. Just a couple of yard repairs. Lorry is in for inspection this morning. PMI. So that's been washed, greased, all ready for inspection today. So Chunky's taking that over there. We just found a couple of loose bits of concrete, so we're patching it up. Good morning, all. Hope you are well, and I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's video. Another cracking video, as always, from us. Uh, comments keep rolling in. Loving the comments, as usual. Thank you very much, guys. Keep uh, liking and subscribing. It's really helping the algorithm, as uh, Jack says. Anyway, I... I've just realised that all these years of doing this, uh, we've purchased diggers and all sorts of, all sorts of jobs. Um, but I've realised that I'm now back on the tools. Uh, the shovel, back on the shovel. Uh, every now and then it's good to keep your hand in with what you used to do, you know, what made you who you are. I used to spend many a day in a hole digging by hand. So I'm back on it today. I've got to shift all of this around the back of this pipe because unfortunately it's a bit too small for the nine tonner to get into. So uh, I'm in here in the hole again, digging by hand. Uh, Jack is picking up Chunky from the um, inspection. Just dropped the grab off for that. And he's having a clear up because uh, I didn't realize how OCD I was about the yard being filthy. Uh, it turns out qu I'm quite OCD about it. So I've asked Andy to have a bit of a clear up and a bit of a sort out because it's, uh, it's making me twitchy. All this dirt and ugh. It's not, it's not nice. I mean, we're used to mucky building sites, but when it's your own site, you know, we've, we've got a, a good appearance to keep up. And we don't want the locals thinking that this is becoming some sort of uh, just muck tip, because it's not. So anyway, I'm going to get back on the shovel and, uh, and, and crack on. Yeah. It's, uh, at least it's dry. It's not raining. We've got this big old berth in yesterday. So we're getting round it today. We've got another pipe and that going down here. Another, expect another chamber. We're gonna get backfield, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I'll dig this uh, and uh, I'll catch you when I've passed out in the bottom of the hole. Lovely. L lovely jubbly, actually, to the uh, subscriber uh, who commented saying, can they have some lovely jubblies? So a lovely jubbly. Hi guys, just taking a quick trip to our service provider to drop the grab off. Look at that, Chunky's dropping the grab off for its 10 weekly inspection. Welsh's trucks, Double TL Transport, Duxford, check them out. They're a Renault specialist, so sometimes they do get annoyed that we bring Scanias here. But they're a good bunch of boys, good bunch of boys. So I'll get Chunky back. Chunky said about getting a McDonald's on the way back, I don't know about that. Down MKM guys, on the hunt for six inch Osmo Benz, but Field Base and MKM are struggling for stock. So I've cleared them both out. Between them, they had three 90s, 130 and 145. Hopefully that's enough. And also MKM has just gifted us a lovely second hand uh, steel fire door. So the fire cannot escape from the portal cabin and the whole place will burn down. I don't think that's what it's for. I think it's just a nice heavy security door with keys. Yeah, because it's got a knob on both sides. Push bar on the back, front, inside. Knob on the outside. Lovely. They look after us here at MKM. MKM Haverhill. Come down, have a free coffee. So guys, drainage. Foul water drainage is now hooked up and done. All manholes in, fully connected. So we can now, this one here is foul, this side. We can take this down the building to the toilets, ready for toilets to be plumbed in. So that's quick, gonna be a quick turnaround that is. Electrician should be here next week to put our fuse board in the box and then Chunky can take the wires in. And what I'm doing now is filling up three Gorilla tubs and two buckets. And I'm gonna absolutely hump water down the surface water drain to give it a good clear out before that gets connected. So yes, that's where we're at. 
And uh, I did say earlier in the week I'm going to stop wearing my thermals. I wore them today, and actually it's like 14 degrees, and I'm absolutely sweltering. So I might have to do a bit of a strip tease. Unsubscribe, 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 unsubscribe. No, I shan't be doing that. Righto. That's three gorilla tubs and two buckets. I realise I haven't said what day it is. It's Thursday. It's Thursday, guys. We've been at it for a little while. You would have seen what I've been up to so far. Me and Sam are going to head back to the yard now. Because old Chrissy boy is on his way. Old struggler. Yes, he is. So I'm going to get our new door off. Oh, our new door. Our new to, new to us door off the back. And then get down to the old yard and meet up with Chris. Because he's got to do some servicing. And then we're going to pop down here later on and sort the door out and stuff. Lovely. And also, guys, if you haven't already, and I'll be surprised if you haven't because of this great content, like and subscribe. Hit the button down below, like it, subscribe, and just throw us a comment. Even if it's just to say you're a prat. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, there's a prat. Yeah, they used the forks to get it on. All right, I'm gonna help Sam before he flattens him. Warming, Jack. So I'm just putting up our new, uh, almost complete spanner set with some lovely cable ties. Yes, yeah, bit of bodgery going on here. Mm. Hey, hey. 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 We're not, mate. We're just putting up our bargain uh, spanner set. B and Q, oh, B and Q now. reduced aisle. You knew I was good, so you got a new spanner, Jack. Right. <laughs> right. Chrissy boy. Oh, so Sam's just put up our new spanners, uh, forgetting that one of this week's jobs was to get these uh, benches down to the new yard. Now the tent's up. So, yes, but it's all right. It won't be, it won't be this week. We're a little bit behind. Still got a nice bit of beading left, haven't we? That glorious wood that we shouldn't have thrown away. <laughs> that is. Uh, all right, I think. Yeah. Just, uh, just getting some breakfast. Every time, every, we, we only ever get breakfast when Chris comes up. Yeah. Got tonight, tonight, all. <laughs> Benny's wrap tonight, mate. Yeah, Sam's after a Benny's wrap tonight. Yeah, Benny's wrap. It's all about the garlic sauce, he says. You had a takeaway last night. You can't keep doing. No, I had that. I sat in last night. Oh, <laughs> Back to the new yard, guys. We thought we'd give Chris a little tour. Uh, after our bacon cheeseburger, we even saw a, we saw a YouTube subscriber at the Burger Man, and he subscribed to me and Sam saw us. Walked over and then realised Chris was there. And all his dreams came true. Yeah, and we'll give him a tour. Legs is having a lovely tidy up. Now we've got the tent up. He can get all of the surplus materials, which I don't know if you can see them. They literally take up about one percent of the tent. And I'm going to go and see how Andy has been getting on because he was back filling the drainage uh, back to the point where we were putting the flow controller in Chunky! Yeah. There he is Yeah, so he was putting the... he was back filling obviously it's a bit of a mess uh, it is a little bit messy I can't wait to get this back to black uh, and we've brought up to future-proof this end of the bays we've got uh, some conduit because we're going to take that back to that port cabin eventually and uh, a dray, a, an inlet for the drains, because again, we can tie it up to there if we need to. But yeah, it's nice to have this all back filled. Yeah, lovely. And then we should just be able to see the surface water pipe. Brilliant. And then obviously put the flow control chamber in here, get that fitted into the surface water inlet and then get this place tracked in and get those planings back over it. Isn't it incredible? So this hole, this trench, is the only thing we've dug. Uh, and look at the size of it. That's the pile of dirt that came out of it. It's ridiculous. It shows you how compacted it is. Right. 
Let's see what Sam and Struggler are up to. Man of the day, the haulage expert, the one and only internationally known Chunky. He's just been down the yard, dropped all the blocks off. Now he's just got back with Vera, the bloke in the yard for delivery, so he's had to shoot back here, load him up. So, yeah, Chunky is back to save the day. Absolutely. Right, on fourth, Chunky, on you go. Filming in action. You can't find first. I don't know what he's doing. He's taking his card out, he's back in the yard. Chunky! And here he goes. There he is, sports fans. There he is. He is doing that. Jack is up the top there somewhere, loading up. It's all go, go, go. So, Jack is... Um, making up good time because Chunky has been down the yard with the loader and we had a customer come in for some deliveries and he wasn't around so so Jack is stealing the show with the uh, yard forklift here he is look I'll tell you what you look like on that Jack you look like a bit of a have a go hero <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what obviously our beer is bigger yeah can lift a bucket no problem one bucket on this light end back end doing an endo <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so last time Chris was here, I think he'd have a, had a bit of a, a Christmas clean. Uh, I think it's due to the spring clean now. Struggle bus is uh, in a bit of a sorry state. This makes it all better though. Oh yeah. <coughs> you are? It's Mr. B's birthday. Yeah, it's Mr. B's birthday. So we're going to let Chris crack on. He's got a lot of servicing to do. And me and Sam are going to come and look over at the bale shed. We're going to, we're going oh, to look. Go on, mate. Look at this. We, we have never been in the green body since we've done YouTube, I don't think. Oh, no, we haven't. That's how long it's been. The bike has been there somewhere, isn't it? I think so. Me and Sam rolled. Uh, I say me and Sam. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam. <laughs> Where's the picture, Sam? Picture here. Yes, turn away if you're squeamish. Uh, Sam rolled the buggy down there, down by the lagoon, and I walked away scot free, and Sam ended up in hospital. Well, no, you took me. I took him to hospital. Uh, some might say we should have worn a helmet. But... <laughs> some, might, some might say we should have been working. <laughs> yeah, well, long story, we were waiting for concrete all day, and then at half three in the afternoon, they rang up and said, sorry, we can't make it. So we just wasted a day, and we came back in and thought, why don't we we'll let off some steam? Uh, yeah, so all the blocks have gone, all the blocks are now down the yard, which, is, which all that highlights is we need to start making more. It feels like, I mean, the weather's improving now, so we should get back to... It doesn't look as many down there. When it was here, it was a huge stack. Down there, it looks like we've got 20. Yeah. It's locked up, Jack. It's all locked up. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of an assess of what we've got in here, what's going to get moved down. Uh, yeah, obviously, the, we've got quite a lot of storage space, quite a lot of ground space in the tent. So most of this is going to be in there. Lots it's of nice gear. We can sort of through it properly for once. Yeah. Because all we keep doing is put it higher and higher. Yeah, and try and flog it. Like, we don't like these black pack of bricks, like. I know, but it, like last year, we kept saying that, and then a garden came up that we needed them. Yeah. Didn't it? That does come in handy, guys, having... Because there are... Generally, the stock we end up with is the stock that we use the most. Brindle blocks, charcoal blocks. Uh, what else we've got in here? Sandstone slabs. All we do get really, it's worth looking, is all the second hand slabs. Yeah. We lift them from old patios. Yeah, because that's what we've got down there. So we? If you're after any second hand slabs and you're near to Cambridgeshire, give us a call. We have pallets and pallets of second hand odds and sods slabs. Yeah. Go on, cheap, 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 aren't you? Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, so a lot of leftover materials. I mean, we've, we've even got, I say we, Sam's even got some brindle blocks back here that are probably about 10 years old. Oh, they were from the 
driveway that I showed when I said to Chris Moore I built that. That's from that driveway. And they've been wedged back here so far that it's always been easier just to buy new ones <laughs> <laughs> than to spend three yeah. days getting them out. Yeah, what, four packs? What's that, 40 square metres? About 10 square in a pack, isn't it? Tin, that was the first thing Dainslow ever bought, that tin. Cheffin's auction, check them out. That was the first thing Dainslow like, ever bought. Yeah, and then we bought these doors for cash. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yeah, we bought them. No, me and Sam bought them privately for cash. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah, were look. Four, the, the first yard. Old slabs, look, old slabs. Oh, yeah, this can go down like next week, can't it? Well, we'll Four post time. ramp. We're just going to wedge that in the back of the tent for now. That will go through that door, I think. Yes, yeah, so anyway, so me and Sam are going to have a little bit of an assess and see what's what and what's not. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, the first thing is to go down is this trailer. Yeah, the trailer with the ramp. The, two. the sheet racking, because we we've got sheets down there. We can actually put sheets on them. Yeah. Put the bearer string on there. <clears throat> and then get that pallet to stack up there. Wood down there. down there onto there. The, to the container can go down at some point. I Probably. Exactly. Yeah, because we can always just, if we need cement up here, we just put it in the shed. All this on the back. Box. Big sight box, uh, big concrete gully pot, lovely. Okay, guys, see you soon. Yeah. It's alive. I think that's one service down. Oh, we've got belts and stuff. Well, hello guys, that's five o'clock on Thursday, and unlike a normal day, not the end of the day, because Struggler is down and he's a night owl. So, me and Sam and Chris are gonna get on the services. Yes, we are. Good day today, though, the drainage is nearly back in. Just gotta wait for that flow control chamber. Tomorrow's Friday, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We have to wait and see what the day brings us. Oh yeah. Also guys, like and subscribe. We've, we've stopped saying it as much. We need to say it more. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Look, easy, mate. Chris is on. Is, Chris is on oh, the uh, on the big whacker. Yeah, big jobs here. I only do the biggest of jobs around. This hasn't been serviced since we owned it. Which yeah, is it doesn't look like that filter. Yeah. Hey, look at that filter, people. Look how manky it is. Good job we've got to do. Where's that new item? You watched the wrong side there. Yeah, I ordered the wrong one again. I may have ordered uh, the wrong filter for the yeah. hydrovane, and I actually ordered two of the wrong filters for the hydrovane. So. That's the part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get the star. Oh, no, next time, let legs order. That's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, legs has gone home now, I imagine. Washing. Is he still washing at 1.7? No, you don't mess yeah, come back, yeah. I'll go and relieve him. What's the time? How's he getting home? Relieve him. How's he getting home? I don't know. Ask him what's dinner. So Legs' missus has got a job now, Jeez. so he can't get home. Yeah, I'll go and see what Legs is doing. How you getting on, mate? All right? Leg is, legs is burning the midnight oil. Uh, giving our 17 a lovely clean off after its two day hire. Look at that, fresh. Clean and fresh. Grabs back from inspection. Oh yeah. Chunky is back. So you get in there. Oh, tight in it. Of course he got it in there. It's Chunky. Ain't no stopping him. So the struggle now guys, is to get the oil out of here and into some sort of receptacle without a lot of room. 
So Chris is fabricating a low level bucket and I'm gonna get tip it up. Struggling on. Oh, nice job, eh? And then the bedroom is nearly complete. Oh my good night. Look at this, people. Wow, mate, that is really impressive. Have you got a door for this, mate? I've got a table door. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then there are big pieces that are underneath called the uh, Pony Boy Eyes. Pony Boy Eyes. Pony Boy Pony. Oh. Morning guys, it's Friday, Friday all day today, I'm just going to get a drink and then I'll tune back in. I didn't think ahead, I was going to do a quick video and then I was going to film all up, so see you in a sec. And I'm back in the room. Yes, Friday all day today guys, go downstairs and see what's happening. Aha, yes, uh, yeah, strange one yesterday, Struggler was here, ended up Having a takeaway around Sam's mum's. Anyway, <laughs> there, it was uh, one of those situations where you look around and you think this is surreal. Yeah. On YouTube, if I put it on a distribution distribution service as well, um, then it goes onto all the sites like TikTok and. Oh, oh do they put it on there? They yeah. there, there are moments in life where you yeah. suddenly you look around and you realise, how have I got there? How have I got here? Right, but yeah. How did I get here? Oh. Benny's wrap. That sounds mum's. With the struggler. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just standard, isn't it? That's what I know it's on But it was good. We got the hydrovane serviced, got the little dump, uh, little whacker serviced, got this dumper serviced. Uh, about the same amount of work as did last time. We're too busy chatting, you see. So we always, always have a good chat. It was random. It was like something from The Hangover. Mm. When you wake up the next day and you think, what on earth happened last night? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what are we on today? Uh, me and Sam have got some quotes to go and see. Got to go and see a job that we had confirmed last year to check we've got the measurements right. <laughs> no, we've just got to get specific measurements because we've ordered tin. And what else are we doing today, Sam? We're going to take the four post of this down to the new yard so I can free my trailer up finally because that's been out of action now for a long while. Dump that off and then we're going to load the green container up. On the 10 footer? 10 footer. A little 10 footer. I'm going to get that down there. Uh, so we can start making room in the bell shed to start clearing it out. Yes, obviously we had a little look around the bell shed and it needs clearing out. And there was something else. Oh yeah, and me and Sam are going to do a grab. Yeah, We're going to do a grab, not, not a usual. No, a slightly strange grab. You'll see when we get there. A slightly strange grab and you'll see when we get there. So we're going to do these coffees and I'm going to go for a wee. And what is that? did someone comment that earlier about our coffees or was it a text message? Yeah, I reckon we're going to destroy the toilets with the amount of coffees we drink. Yeah, we do I mean, drink. I don't know what we stage of the video he saw us drinking coffee after. Every that. stage. <laughs> did he? Yeah, every minute I'm like, I'm going to have a coffee now. Well, these are I, nice coffees. I, we need to drink less coffee. I did bring decaf in, but I never bought any more. we get so much done. Well, because we're, we're buzzing. buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm going to have a wee now. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Morning. So, the plan for today, Friday, we are going to get the four-ton ramp, the Bradbury four-ton ramp, down to the new yard in the back of the tent, because I need to free the trailer up that it's on. So we're going to get that down there. So in order to get that down there, we've got to move the Volvo out. So we're going to get that started up, hook up the trailer, get that down there, and then we're going to get the green container down there as well. Have a sort out in here, ready to start moving all of the stores down there so we're gonna crack on we are yeah durite 24 volt jump pack for the win that's why we buy them ones that is
nothing like a, a slightly sketchy load. Uh, four post of ram on a 16 foot off William trailer. It's quite wide, not gonna lie. It has been done before. Put some uh, high vis on the sides, drive carefully, block the roads. Any excuse to use the old flasher, there's got a bit of a wide load coming through, guys. <laughs> old, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a wide load. A little bit of a wide load here. Uh, under the 2.9 legal maximum. Yes, some would say we should have flat backed it. Yeah. But time is of the essence. Yes. We've got four ton of something we need to lift at the other end. So we need the lift to lift four ton. Move aside, people, move aside. That's it, up the verge, mate. <laughs> Down the fruit and veg emporium for a lovely coffee, a la Dave. Right, so the uh, exceptionally wide load under 2.9 meters uh, is now down the yard and we're going to try and get it through the tent door. Now is the tent door wide enough? I think you've got about 30 mil. So one end on bearers, lift that one on bearers, got to the back, the front end now, on bearers, Sam can drive out, jobs are good on this bad boss. And we've got to concrete some pads in for this, and we're gonna concrete the floor of it, because why not? Then we've got a little work to the back of the tent. So guys, now the four poster lifts in here, this was going to be a temporary home for it until the workshop was built next door. But in trying to work out space requirements and what we need and parking for lorries and maybe new lorries if we buy the tractor unit over the way, uh, it might be that we turn this into a workshop. And the idea would be to check to move this end panel to probably here. So then from here on it becomes a workshop and we'd ply the bottoms all the way around, lights, power, concrete at least the ramp space, but if we're concreting, maybe concrete the whole area, even 
I mean, the pads are going to have to be deep, but even four inches over the area, benches, and we've got a workshop. And actually, the lorries fit in this section. So if we have any lorry work to do, we do it in this end. And then all workshop stuff's in that end with a ramp. We've got the height for all the machine. I mean, the four ton dump is the biggest thing that goes on there. We've got the height for that. Yeah, it could be. It could be that this is our dry storage come workshop. We've got to work out how Vera best gets in. I think diagonal, diagonal stacking along the edges so that Vera can get to anything on the edges. Uh, yeah, watch this space, guys, for workshop development. I took a walk, just taking a walk down to this end, guys, where it was a right state yesterday with the drainage and stuff, and now it's been right tidied up. Look at this, look. So we've got some conduit and uh, some, uh, foul water pipe coming up here because we're going to take that along to here. And this has been, look, Andy's cleaned up all that dirt. All of that dirt came out of that trench, and the trench is nearly filled up. Look at that. They say it's about four. I thought I'd just stop recording. They say when you dig a, when you dig, the volume that comes out space-wise is four times larger than the hole that you've dug. So then trying to get it back in, you know, it's never going to happen. Because you think that's had, this is fresh virgin ground. That's had got, well, how many thousands of years since the Ice Age? Uh, this is getting a bit technical uh, to compact. We ain't never compacting that. There ain't no dozer as big as the Ice Age. But yeah, we've just got a get the flow control chamber in, connect it to the inlet, backfill, tarmac plane in, whack, roll, whack, roll, muck it away, because that ain't all going back in this hole. Some will go behind the back wall of the bays, but again, I think we worked out about eight tonne if we were 300 away from the bank. But yeah, man, we're at the max allowable depth here for a plastic chamber, which as far as we could tell was three meters. So that's a three meter plastic chamber. Uh, so Connor might be getting a, a bungee rope to clean it out every now and then. These ones aren't as bad. These ones are like 1.2, these two. But yeah, conduit water to here because we've got site office, port cabin, roof, a little rentable area. Maybe for our friend Ryan. Hello, Ryan. Right, I'm going to help these guys get the container and the racking unloaded. Yes, yes. Our favourite, some sensible working at height. Nine tonner versus ten foot container. Ten foot container in place, guys. Look at that, lovely stuff. We uh, we were using it for cement and postcrete, but I think we're going to put that in there now. So we've got to work out what we're going to use this for. Maybe digger attachments. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? We'll find a use for it. That's our day at the new yard done. Chunky and Andy still down there for a bit. But me and Sam are... What are you doing? How long after Going to do a grab. The interesting grab. What are we grabbing? Watch this space. So annoyingly, guys, we thought we were going to have to smash up an old port cabin and grab it. But he's had already had his fun in, uh, in the fire tunnel. So we've just got to grab it away. It's a bit boring really, isn't it? Oh. 
That's it guys, another week done. Finito. Finito, Chunky's just taken that load over to the tip. And yeah, we've yeah. parked everything up, locked everything up, ready to rock and roll, to have a nice chilled weekend. And back at it again, 5 a.m. Monday. 5 a.m. Monday, have a nice weekend. And as ever, like and subscribe. Yeah, and enjoy your weekend. Just chill out and enjoy it. That's what it's all about. Five day week, two days off. Yeah, see you on the next one, lovely, guys. Lovely, lovely.